Hey everybody, happy Monday. Today is Weigh In Monday. I have just completed 42 weeks on the carnivore diet and I wasn't able to do weight metrics last week because last week I was in Texas and did not have my scale. I did give an update from the little farm, the little ranch where we were staying with all the little cute animals. It was really sweet and we got to feed them and it was really, really nice. And you know, the trip was a sad one because we went down to Louisiana for my cousin's funeral after she lost her battle to cancer. Um, but then we drove over to Texas and surprised my oldest daughter and showed up at her doorstep. And that was, that was fun. Got to see the three grandkids. And um, yeah, so it's kind of, we were gone for five days. My youngest daughter went with me. We were gone for five days. And, um, you know, I stayed carnivore during the whole trip. Um, but it was challenging to find what is for me clean carnivore. Now, because I have to be really low histamine normally, there's so much that I can't eat. So, you know, I typically don't eat bacon and eggs. I typically, um, I'm very careful about the quality of the meat that I eat. And I usually eat beef and lamb and salt, and that's pretty much it. Occasionally some fish. Um, so I was really curious to see how I was going to feel and how, what was going to happen with my weight, what was going to happen with my rosacea, my gut, um, if I was going to end up with throat swelling episodes again. So I'm going to just let you guys know how things went and then we'll get to my weight loss results. But um, I was doing pretty good and then the last, and I was, like I said, having a really difficult time finding good quality food that was for on the go. I ended up eating a couple hard boiled eggs overall did okay with that. Um, and again, I really think my histamine bucket was pretty low as far as I'd been avoiding high histamine foods for so long. I think I did have a little bit of leeway to play with. Um, but the last day that we were there, um, and I had had some other eggs, like we went out to a restaurant and it was a diner in Texas and they had, they had steak and eggs and it was a strip steak, but it was cooked in butter and no seasoning. So I could add my own salt and the eggs were just, you know, I had them all unseasoned and, um, I typically don't do butter, but down in Texas, they don't know ghee. Like literally they don't know what ghee is <laughs> or Louisiana too. At least not the places that I went. I think I told a bit short, a funny story in my last video about my, uh, telling one of my cousins that I introduced the other cousin to ghee and my cousin said, who's ghee? <laughs> It's like, didn't have any clue as to what ghee is. But anyway, so I did actually have some things cooked in butter. Um, but the steak was really great. And um, I, so I was doing pretty good. It's really, truly not sure what was going on with my weight. And, um, but the very last day when we were at the airport in Dallas, I ate an, an omelet at IHOP. I guarantee you they snuck stuff in there because my gut was not happy. And um, I did have a tiny little flare up of the rosacea. It's, you can hardly even tell, but it's, I got a little bit of a bump right there. And, but my gut was unhappy probably within a few hours. And then um, the next day after I was home, I ended up having a unhappy, kind of an unhappy bowel movement, had a little bit, some blood tinged mucus, which tends to happen if my gut's not happy with what I'm eating. And I had hemorrhoid joy. Um, but after a couple days of eating just the beef and the lamb and eating really clean and taking some Epsom salts baths, it's gone. It shrunk pretty fast. Um, I was the boil. I know that I, you know, was having the issues with this boil for quite a while. It is almost completely gone. One of you suggested trying yarrow oil. I did not have any on hand, so I actually ordered some and I have been applying yarrow oil to it. Um, so it's almost completely gone. It's to the point now where I don't even really feel it. It doesn't hurt. So that means I can rebound again. So I started rebounding. I can actually go on walks again. So I started doing some walks. And because because of the location of the boil, I really couldn't do anything. And um, it was definitely 
I was feeling it. I wasn't feeling that great because I really wasn't able to get my body moving very much and um, get that lymphatic system flowing. And, you know, not that I need to exercise to gain weight. It's just the health benefits of having your circulatory system active and in motion. I was missing that. Um, so, you know, my goal moving forward now that I'm home is going to be to make sure I'm eating very clean. I am still able to drink my coffee. I've taken, I'm not doing the butter in it. I'm just doing some cream and the, the chocolate element and I'm whizzing it up. And uh, I thought, well, maybe I'm going to try to like maybe eliminate the coffee and see, cause I was just not feeling great, but I'm thinking, no, I don't think I need to just do that. I need to just let my body adjust. I think it's the airport food that was the problem. And um, someone suggested that sometimes these restaurants will add some like pancake batter into their eggs. Hope that didn't happen, but it may have because I really reacted. And I don't think it was the eggs because I had been eating the eggs over the course of the trip and was doing okay. Again, I don't want to fill that histamine bucket up again. So just because I may be okay with eggs once or twice doesn't mean that that's something I need to start eating regularly because egg whites are high in histamine. And I do not want to have another reaction, you know, start activating my mast cell disease again. I did not have a single throat swelling episode while I was gone. Now, when we had a lot of family around, and again, I'm one of 21 first cousins. There's a, It's a big family, and there's a lot of extended family. So after the funeral and then the following day, there was a lot of people around. And I do have sensitivity to noise, and um, I get dizzy. And, of course, I have the orthostatic intolerance. So I have to make sure I can sit down. I did experience quite a bit of dizziness during the um, the family gatherings, but of course I'm not going to leave. I just tried to sit down and tried to, you know, take care of myself as best I could. But I was really wanting to be able to socialize with with family members, and I even met some people, except an extended family that I had never met before. So that was really nice. But I got through it, and I'm so used to the dizziness that I just kind of have figured out what I need to do to compensate, to make sure that I give my body the, you know, sitting down or whatever that it needs in order to get over the dizziness. Um, again, it's a mast cell thing. It's an orthostatic hypertension, uh, orth orthostatic intolerance thing. And so I just am living with it. Um, I did wear compression stockings as much as I could when I knew I was going to be standing or when I was on the airplane. And so that was something that I always do. Even before I knew I had orthostatic intolerance on, when I was traveling on a plane, I always wore compression stockings. My, both of my siblings have had deep vein thrombo thrombosis, blood clots, you know, in the legs. And I am going to do everything I can to avoid that. Okay. So let's get on to my results. I did not know what to expect. My belly felt bigger. And I think it's just because my gut was unhappy. My belly was feeling big, bigger, a little bit more bloated, um, feeling a little bit more inflamed. Um, so not sure what to expect, but I weighed in this morning at 259. So I was, that was the weight I was a few weeks ago. So with all the travel, I was not expecting to have a huge weight drop. I really wasn't. I mean, this was a big disruption to my normal routine. So I'm actually pleased that I did lose some weight. I lost 1.8 pounds on the scale. Um, now, when you look at my fat-free body weight, it stayed exactly the same as it was two weeks ago. So the actual, the, the loss of 1.8 pounds is, is it. It's, that's my, my, my loss. There is no increase in fat-free body weight to make my fat loss to be even higher. But I'm happy. 1.8 pounds when I've been traveling and I've been eating is less clean than I usually would. I'm pleased. Um, I did gain 0.2 in muscle. Um, my bone stayed the same. So my fluid must have gone down 0.2. So I, because I had an absolutely level fat free body weight. So that's the good tissue. Um, so from the beginning, my total scale loss is 80.6 pounds. I have gained 25.2 pounds of good tissue. So that's actually breaks down to 24 pounds of muscle gain. 1.6 pounds of bone gain. So uh, that means I've lost about 0.4 of fluid. Um, 
So my total fat loss since the very beginning, which was my first weigh-in was May 31st of 23, is 105.8 pounds of fat loss, which is fantastic. My visceral fat went down a pound. And I know that I had had that weird anomaly a couple weeks ago where it went down early. So this is about the time that it should have gone down because it went back up again. So it's down to 20. I had corrected myself that my upper range of acceptable, I had been saying it was 15. It's actually 11. So I still have nine more pounds to go to get my um, visceral fat to an acceptable level. I'll take it. You know, the darn metabolic, metabolic age is still 62, still thinks I'm 62, you know, but it is what it is. I'm wearing this t-shirt. I love it. It's too big now. It's really huge, but this is a, you know, it says, you got this. So I tell myself that you got this. I can do this. I did look at some pictures that family members took um, while we were, you know, socializing that Saturday after the day after the funeral and I'm like, oh my gosh, I still have so much weight to lose. I was just, you know, you know, your family members with these candid photos, they always get you in these really bad angles. And of course, here in front of the camera, face, you know, straight on and everything, it's not quite so, so drastic, I guess. But all right, my screen froze. It does that. But when I'm looking at a candid shot of myself and someone's taken it, I'm not really trying to keep and have like a good angle. It's like, uh, I still got this double chin, you know, I still have so much weight to lose on my belly and it's just, it's going to take time. It does not discount the results that I've had so far. I mean, I started out in like a, pay, a size 20 pants. I'm down to a 20. I can wear a size large. This thing's huge because this is actually a plus size, but I can wear a size large in women's as far as my tops. So I'm happy. Um, so my goal again for this week is just, I'm going to do more rebounding. I'm going to do more walking. The weather is insanely beautiful. I don't know if it's going to last, but our, our flowers are in bloom. I mean, you can't see out the window, but I'm looking at this beautiful bush full of these purple flowers. It's gorgeous. The sun is out. It was like 70 degrees the other day. And this is Washington state, like in the summertime, it may be it's in the seventies or in the early eighties. And like, what? This is March. This is crazy. So I'm going to take advantage of this nice weather and make sure I'm getting out there. I'm getting my sunshine. I'm going out and getting vitamin D and, um, I'm still taking the iodine. I'm taking 25 milligrams of iodine a day and I am feeling like it's making a difference. So I'll keep reporting on that, but I'm really pleased honestly with how my skin did even out in the sunshine, more UV down in Texas and, um, overall, I mean, I have a little bit right here, but the rosacea overall did well. So I'm very pleased with that. And I think that the little bit I'm seeing with the rosacea right now is because my gut is unhappy, um, but it is healing. I can tell it's getting better. So I feel like I need to start thinking about doing another fitness challenge because now that I can actually do some exercise, um, I want to get back and do more and keep moving forward with my fitness goals. So I'm going to be thinking about that see what I come up with. I got to come up with something that's realistic that I can do. And hopefully some of you can join me. But anyways, that's it for today. I hope everyone's having an absolutely fabulous day. I have appreciated all of your thoughts and prayers as I've been um, away. And as I've been, you know, dealing with the death in the family, I have so much appreciated that. And I'm getting some wonderful emails from some of you as well. So it is greatly appreciated. If I have not gotten back to an email, I am still getting caught up on emails. I have a lot of emails for healing human humanity um, documentary that I'm working on as well. So I am working through those things. So I'm going to, I'm trying to get, get caught up on my emails. Anyways, hope you're having a wonderful day and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.